Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Craft Stash Live. It's a Sizzix takeover today, not only because we've got the brand new Sizzix switch die cutting machine, which I'm so, so excited to see Pete using, but also because we've got all sorts of offers and deals going on. And the big thing, which I'm sure most of you are here for, is that giveaway. We are giving away the brand new machine to one of you in about 15 56 minutes something like that so within the hour one of you watching will have won this brand new die cutting machine so all you need to do to enter to win is comment whether you're watching on Facebook or whether you're watching on YouTube simply comment just say hello hey say hi to Pete because I've got the lovely Pete Hughes with me of course um, you can say hello to him tell us what you love about the new machine will you be grabbing one uh, have you already pre-ordered one do you already have one maybe I don't know I don't know whether that's even possible tell us what you love about it whatever it may be as soon as you comment you are in the hat to win we will pick those at the end of the hour um, as you can see we've got lots of offers and deals on today so we have got the machine with a starter set now that starter set is 24 dies and an embossing folder included with the machine for only 22 no, £229.99. There's lots of twos and nines in there. Um, that's available on Stash on Craft Stash right now. That's www.craftstash.co.uk. You can also purchase the die bundle that um, Pete is using today. It's actually die and I believe embossing folder bundle there that he's using. As he's demonstrating, if you're loving what he's doing, the easiest way to grab everything and recreate what Pete is making is with this bundle here. So this is down to only. $59.99 for all the products uh, I think there's five in total there that's taking a massive 12 pounds off now we've got lots of other deals and things going on and I will be um, talking about those and shouting those throughout the hour but the thing you're here for of course is the lovely Mr Pete Hughes so I'm going to switch straight over to Pete and say hello to him good morning oh sorry good afternoon Pete <laughs> Good, yeah, it is good afternoon. It feels like morning, but it is afternoon. Good afternoon, lovely to be here. How are you? Very, very well and very excited. Good. I'm all giddy today. Oh. Um, I, ha I have my switch machine winging its way to me, which I cannot wait to get my hands on. Um, do, would you like to go straight in? First of all, I, are you well? That's the most important thing. I am very well, I'm very well. I'm, I'm very hungry because I'm on a bit of a diet after Christmas, as I'm sure most of us are. But other than that, <laughs> yes, I'm surviving on coffee at the moment for the most part. But yeah, I'm, I'm really good, really good. Thank you. So you're actually running around in circles very, very quickly on your caffeine. <laughs> something like yes, something like that. So if I talk too quickly, please just tell me to bring it down slightly. No, yeah, no, we've good. got a lot to fit in, Pete, today, we an know, awful lot. Um, there's lots of offers I want to go through, but really I think we're here for the machine. So I think the best thing to okay. do is to open up and ask you to give us an overview of this wonderful machine well let's do that i have it right here in front of me this is the switch you can see uh, it's got lovely classy really contemporary style and we've got this lovely chrome on the side we've got handles here for carrying and it is a plus machine so that means it's got a nine inch mouth but it's not a big machine let me just pick up my my big shop and show and this is my 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 big shop so I'll show you that oh. for scale. So there's not much difference in the footprint, really. Now, another thing, actually, before I, well, let's, let's open it up. Let's open it up because yes. I love this part. See, and it opens, it's got that lovely soft opening, you know? You know, like when you open the door on your Bentley when, when the chauffeur pulls up for your I know exactly just, what you mean, yep. It's just like that, <laughs> it's a lovely soft opening. We've got integral storage, so all your go-to tools, maybe even you wanna put your starter kit in there they can pop in there fabulous now switch here it is press it it's on it's ready to go um let me let me just show you i'll i'll run something through there for you um now the difference one of the difference between this and a lot of the electronic machines on the market is the fact that this one takes the bigs so it's got that gap between Excellent. the rollers so there are millions of big styles out there and, and now a lot of you guys you might be card makers just paper crackers and you work primarily with the wafer thin dies. Well, who knows where you're going to be in the future? You might be doing a exactly. plique, soft craft, quilting, whatever it may be. That's where the big dies come in. And it has the power to cope with that. Now, I'm going to reach over. We're, we're going to cut something. I'm going to take a big star. I'm going to start off. This is a piece of liner. We're having oh. the office refloored downstairs. <laughs> now, try cutting that with a wafer thin die. It's not going to happen. No. But let me sandwich this up between the two plates 
and show you how the machine works. Now, simply move it in to the mouth of the machine there, and it feeds through automatically. In one book, now that's a really heavy, you can hear it slowing down. Yeah. It compensates for the pressure. You can hear that. And then out it comes the other side. Now, if I had a 3D embossing folder or something like that, and I wanted to run it back in two, I've got a reverse button here. Yeah? Oh, so brilliant. once you press that, that's going to run it through again. It's so relaxing, Lou, this machine. I, you know, I'm a manual. I'm a big, big shot's my machine. It's my go-to yeah. machine. And I said, when they talked about this, I said, I'm never going to switch from my big shot. But <laughs> Eat I your words, Pete. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I used it for two weeks solid. And I so enjoyed it. It, it kind of takes, you know, when you're rushing back into doing stuff, just pressing that button and letting it go through. It's so, so relaxing. Amazing. But let's see. Let's see how it's coped with that line I, of I can't believe shots. that's cut that just dropping out it, it, it's fabulous um but that's that's what you get with this you can use your bigs you can use all the dies you can use everything all the wafer thins I can't say every die on the market because I simply don't know no, what's out there but obviously Sizzix we've we've been in the business well actually we've been in die cutting for 45 years so there is 45 years of experience knowledge and engineering that's gone into this and Amazing. because it's got the Sizzix name on it that is something we guard jealously. That's our reputation as yeah. a machine manufacturer, because I think people know that the scissors machines, they're reliable, uh, they're durable, and this one is no different. Now, let's take a look at the plates, because the platform, if you're a Sizzix user, or if you've used a Big Shot at any time, these will be very familiar to you, because yes. this is the wafer thin die platform. All the sandwiches are there. You don't have to look at a PDF Brilliant. online, you don't have to try and find where you left your instructions, it's always here for you. So whether you're using wafer thin dies, whether you're using 2D embossing folders, 3D embossing folders, we will tell you how to make the sandwich. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about the plates in a minute, but that's slightly different. Let, let's, run, let's run that big through. Now, we did talk about soft crafts, didn't we? So there's yes. some felt, we've layered that up, we've got four layers of felt there, because obviously, if you're, if you're a quilter, and you're using, say, hexagon die, for example, mm -hmm. you will want to cut a lot at once because quilts are rather on. Now, this is interesting. See there? It's stopped. That means I'm overloading it. Right, if okay. If I press the reverse button, it goes out. I haven't actually overloaded it. What I've done is I've put this at the edge of the die, whereas if I bring it back slightly... I see. So it's got a bit of a like, run up. <laughs> so it's got, yeah, it's got what we call bite. It actually, it will feed in and it's got that bite there. So there we are. So perfect. try it again. You won't break the machine by overloading it. And I think that's important. And it I think is. People, people can be sometimes nervous of electronic machines for that very reason. With a manual machine, you know when it's overloaded because you simply can't turn the handle. How Although, many is that cut through? That's, uh, that's cut through. That's cut through. That's cut through four there. So we've got four different Fabulous. parts. And it would cut all the hearts on this time as well, all in one pass. The same with textiles. You could cut more than four. Now, do you know what I'm going to do? Uh, we talk about our Sizzix cardstock. We love our Sizzix cardstock. You know the stuff that I mean. I've got some here. Well, and I'm going to I'm going to do a test later if we have time with tissue paper. Right. Oh. I have got seven layers of card here. Seven now, layers of card. Seven layers of card. Um, I'm going to see how well this copes. Again, we layer up that lovely platform into the map. Now, let's... I can't hear a thing. It slows oh. it down ever oh, so yes. slightly. But remember with the big style, it's the blade that does the work, not the machine. So Cost. there is a deep steel blade in there. And I'm going to put that down. And I'll, I love our kill scissors can't stop because I think <sighs> it's got all the colors of the rainbow. Oh, and look just at that. to illustrate that. There we are. This, really and this is just that. seven of the 20 in, in the pack. So. We've got them all there. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I know they're not strictly indigo, violet, but you know, we're getting there. I, but look how cleanly they cut. Isn't that fantastic? That is fantastic. While you're actually talking about different materials and such, I'm just going to make a note that we have got selected Sizzix surfaces on offer today. They're on a three for two. Um, you just need to pop the code in at checkout three spell the word four and two three four two so you can get those and i'm sure um pete has had great fun cutting all of those different surfaces and such out from Sizzix. there's so many isn't there i mean there's all sorts of fabric oh, type surfaces there's yeah. papers card stocks all sorts 
you know, mat board, mount board, if you want to cut heavyweight things for your mixed media, it'll cope with it, no problem with a big stain. Uh, I've put some, I just realized I'm actually making a card with these upstairs, so I haven't brought them all there. But here are some of the dies from the starter kit, in case folks were interested in that. They're all exclusive to the starter kit. There's this right. lovely 3D embossing folder. Beautiful. And let's show you how that one comes out. And this is using our gold opulent cardstock. So there's three different surfaces there. There's the brush gold, mm -hmm. the matte gold, and the pearlized gold. So that's what comes in the starter kit. I've got some samples which the lovely Jess made using some of the dies in that starter kit. So if you are interested, and maybe it might be it may be your first machine, I don't know, but you can start making these lovely cards. Would you say, Pete, the if this is a first machine for someone, is it easy enough for them to get to grips with? Very, very much so. Uh, you know, we do appreciate, one of the things we do appreciate as a company is the fact that if, you, if you're new to die cutting and you have a look at the market, it's so confusing. There's so many machines out there. They all make various claims. Which one's the one to go for? Which one is the best machine? I'm not saying that ours is the best for one minute. Of course, I, that, I would be biased. But, um, you know, what we want is ease of use. And having all the instructions on the platform is one little part of making it easier, an easier experience for, for the end user. Um, you, you can do it out of the box without the instructions, really. You know, we Absolutely. do have a full, full comprehensive instruction booklet. But it's really, really simple to get to grips with. Um, I think what I'm, what I'm going to do. Oh, I just wanted to talk about pressure. I want to oh, talk okay. about, but I'll do that in a second. I'm going to cut a die which we're going to use in in my next um, in my next demo. But this time I'm putting the whole uh, thing through. So there's the platform. There's the the wafer thin die adapter. There's my. So it die. is actually the same plate combination as the original Big Shot. Then is it? It's it's ex it's exactly that. Uh, do Brilliant. you know what? We we couldn't have made this link better because <laughs> what I wanted to say. Thank you for that. Sorry. You, know, you, it, it, you must be intu super intuitive. But what I was going to say is, this is an A this is an A4 machine. So mm -hmm. it's nine inch. It takes the bigger dies. Some people prefer the smaller machines. Well, you know what? If you have a big shot, take the platform and plates out and you can use them through this machine. Excellent. If you want to use, now just reaching down, just disappearing for a second. <laughs> if you want to use a Sizzix plate in there, you can do that. Um, you know, people keep their plates for different reasons. In fact, I'm going to do that. This is one of my care worn Sizzix plates. So that's ready to go. Oh, this now, is really handy because sometimes you've got a plate that's particularly worn or something. You've kept it because you don't like to throw it. Exactly. That's exactly right. And, you know, that's that's where this comes in. It's got a sensor. So I'm going to send this back through. The reason I'm doing that is because it's a quite a complex die. So I'm going to make sure it cuts in one pass. Now, some folks out there might be thinking, well, hang on. I've heard that there are machines out there that will do this in one pass. And you know what? They're absolutely right. But we at Sizzix think there is an optimal pressure. This, this is the uh, botanical scene die. There is an optimal pressure. So if you increase the pressure to allow this to cut in one pass, it might well have done anyway, this one. But what happens is that adversely affects the motor, mm -hmm. the components in the machine, and also the plates. The first thing to go are your plates because there's simply too much pressure. So we, we tried machines with more pressure, with less pressure. We found this to be the best pressure for the longevity of your plates and the components within the machine. So I just wanted to explain that. That's fabulous. Off. So, um, I mean, very often a theory would be if a die isn't cutting, add more pressure. And that's not necessarily the case, is it? No, that, that can be, that can be um, you know, that can, that can just wreck your plates. The plates will warp. The plates will, you know, they'll be, they won't be fit for purpose in three, four months. Depends how much you use them, really. Plates can last a lifetime if you use them once a week. Of course, of course. I'm not giving a lifetime guarantee in that, you understand. <laughs> but, you know, the, the less you use them, the longer they're going to last. But, but with the kind of use that I get out of them, you know, I want to make sure, I want to know that they're not going to warp and bend and, and change and mark too much. So that's why we have worked out this. And when I say worked out, I have tried so many um, different versions of this machine just to get that right. Just to and get that right. And it, 
Sorry, um, just thinking of a question. I, we've got loads of comments. In fact, I'll give you a break in a moment so I can just read through some of the comments sure. because there's lots of people. But just a question from me, just to double check. I think I know the answer. Um, and you did meant, touch on it earlier. Um, most brands that you know of will go through this machine regardless. Absolutely. I think, I think what people have to remember is um, yeah, obviously the big shot uh, was the... Um, was a big noise at the time. Sizzix, obviously one of the, if not the earliest brand in, in these kind of die cut machines, roller machines and so on and so forth. So there are over 2 million big shots in the hands of people all around the world. Now, if you come out with a die that doesn't work in a big shot, it's a bit crazy really. I yes, mean, you, oh, this is a very away, good that's, point. That's 2 million people that, that, that are out of the loop. So that's what you will find that most people who manufacture dies will ensure that it works on a Sizzix machine. They're probably notable exceptions, but you know, hey. Amazing. But yes, absolutely. Yeah. Lovely. I'm going to give you a breather just for a moment. We're going to come back for a demonstration, if that's okay, in a second. I'm just going to yeah. recap for really everybody fine. all the offers and deals we've got today. Uh, and like I say, more than anything, just to give Pete a breath for a, for a, for a second. Um, the first thing I need to mention is, as we were just talking about different materials and different surfaces, we have got those Sizzix surfaces on offer today three for two using that code 342 that is selected surfaces so do make sure you check the best way to make sure you're getting the right product in your basket is by going to the craft stash homepage as you do craft stash uh, uk or us um, you'll see the banners that are scrolling across the top these are all of our offer not all of our offers at all not at all they are our most popular offers for the day and your Sizzix surfaces will be in on that carousel somewhere when it comes up click on it that will take you to those selected surfaces pop three into your basket pop the code three for two in at checkout and you will be able to get that i believe it's probably the cheapest one for free but that means you're saving up to about 14.99 or something like that so we've also then got the Sizzix machine that one of you watching live now on Friday from 12:30 p.m just to make sure in case you're not quite watching live um you're going to win one of these machines by the end of the hour. So by 1.30 today, I will be announcing a name. And that could be someone from Facebook or it could be someone from YouTube. Just comment, that's all you need to do. And myself and Pete will be doing a little drum roll at the end and that will be winging its way to you over the next week or so. Um, more things we've got to announce as well. So we've also got, obviously we've got the machine on offer. It's um, It's been on pre-order, I believe it's in stock now. I think it's in stock now. Go and check that out. I think it was in stock up to the, from the first or the second, it's only, 229.99 now that is including that 25 piece starter kit that includes that 3d embossing folder and 24 thinlets dies that pete was showing you that starter bundle comes with the machine all of that is for 20 oh i keep saying 22 and i apologize it's 229 pounds and 99 pence my numbers are all over the place today um but if that is stretching your budget a little bit far today but you are in love with this machine as much as myself and pete are don't forget get craft stash do offer clear pay now with clear pay you're going to be able to spread the cost over four payments that's making a payment every two weeks there's absolutely no interest added on that interested interest added on that and also there's no credit check either so um, very very simple to apply for that great for your bigger purchases just to make sure that you can get them when you want them when everyone else is getting their hands on them as well um, as I said, we've also got the bundle that Pete's going to be using. We're going to see him using those in a minute. They are some brand new chapter one dies. Now we've got all the different chapters from Sizzix that come out regularly. Um, chapter one is what Pete's using today. Brand new dies and uh, I think I believe, Pete, there is a, an embossing folder in there as well. Uh, this bundle has been created by Craft Stash just for you at an amazing price, $59.99, and that's taking £12 off as well. And one last thing before we go back to Pete, we do, of course, have a bargain of the week. Now, as I mentioned this week, this is new to Craft Stash. This is technically supposed to last seven days, usually by tomorrow it's all gone. These are low numbers of stock that we have of a very popular item and we want you to make sure you get one of the last items, okay? Today we have got the card making magic heart-shaped box, the die set there, it's six by six inches, 
as you can see there it was 28.99 it's coming down now to just 16.99 saving you 12 pounds now this literally is when it's gone it's gone go and find that on the website because we're not restocking that that we have pretty much probably single figures we may have in the tens teens perhaps but it will be very low figures grab that while it's at such a good price i think that's everything i need to tell you so uh of course you want to get back to pete don't forget to comment to be in with the chance of winning this machine pete i'm going to come back to you now Lovely. there Happy we days. go um and we're going to look at some lovely chant to one that is so what i've done i've sort of curtailed this demo because we want to get on with the rest of the stuff. we've got lots to do so much to do today but i want to say i love this die um this one is called botanical scene now gorgeous you might think it looks quite simple quite straightforward it kind of i hate the phrase but it is what it is but there's so much that you can do with a die like this it's unbelievable here are the dies uh, there are two there's this, there's this okay. lovely little uh, it's got a stitched border on it so that maybe could sit at the top on the side and we've got this it's so now not only does it die cut it makes the most delightful stencils so this is the one that we just cut on our machine. I hope you guys can see that there, because I'm gonna use it as a stencil, or I'm gonna show you what happens when I use it as a stencil rather, because if I took some white card, thus, and I took some 3D adhesive. Now, I know you've got this on the website. Um, yes. It's a wonderful, wonderful um, thing, because it's so, it's the only Sizzix product that I would say is really tacky. It is super tacky because it comes out, you, you take it with a palette knife, you can scrape it through a stencil of any kind, you can use the palette knife and you can get real dimension in it and mm -hmm. then when it dries, it holds its form. That's why we call it 3D adhesive. So yes. if I put that through a stencil, it's gonna retain its tack. So let's imagine da, 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 we've done that and here's one that I made earlier. Now. It's hard to pick up, but maybe if I turn Oh, yes, we can light, see we that can shining. See that. Okay, now this was done last week. It still feels oh. tacky, but to reactivate that, what I'm going to do is take my heat tool, and I'm just going to go over some of these areas. And what you'll find is that actually reactivates the tackiness as right. it were. Okay, so perfect. So let's turn that off. I'm going to take this. These are decorative foil sheets from Civics and I'm going to press that on these are there are 10 in a pack gorgeous um, and they last they last a long, long time just an individual sheet but I'm going to press that over the 3d adhesive thus and you can ah. see when you peel it away you see how it's starting to take what, what you'll do you, you'll just keep going until maybe you might need to reheat it 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 doesn't take long at all to do but the effect and you know what if you're using when you get this kind of effect whereby it hasn't taken completely because because it won't in the first part then why not take a silver one or a rose gold oh that's and a good idea get that variegation in between so you could get three colors of this lovely four going on there we are we'll take that away so you can see it's starting to fill it's starting to you can see that it's very that. different to any other effect, the you, metallic effect, but it, it does look like metal. And let's take a look at how, in the true, here's one I made earlier, sense, Gorgeous. because isn't it lovely? It really is such a simple thing to do. That's with our 3D adhesive. You also notice those lovely letters, and that is from this alphabet, and I believe it's in our bundle. It's called Spring Type, and yes, it is. it's designed by J Jamie Steele. And you'll notice that the letters themselves, if we can get in on there, you can see that there is detail, embossed detail within each. It's a classic font. Oh. It's a great size for card fronts. But you can see when you cut that with, say, gold opulent cardstock, you get that depth. You get yes, that dimension. You, you yeah. get that embossed detail. And that's just passing it through your die cutting machine. Now, that's wow. one way of using this. Let's take a look at another. This one I particularly love. Now, stencil film. I don't know if you guys have ever come across this. Oh, yes. Again, I was using it yesterday. <laughs> it, oh, well, there you go. So there's, there's testament. If Lou uses it, you know that it's good. But it really this is. has been used as a stencil. So I die cut from stencil film. You can see the ink, which actually that would be quite nice on a card. It does look itself. lovely. <laughs> well, let's see how it looks, actually. Let's put it against the Oh, there you go. 
So it's never coming. throw your stencils away, guys. There you go. <laughs> but that, that's what I've done. Now, I've stenciled through there. You can crop this to size. I've used distress oxides, different colors. But what I want to do with this is something slightly different because that's using stencil form. This is card. Now, right. card has more depth it, and it allows more dimension. So if I put that in place and I put it exactly over where I inked, because we're using the same die so you get perfect registration. Yep. Now, another lovely product of ours is Crystal Glaze, which is a clear glaze, but mm -hmm. it has that lovely crystalline shine in it it looks milky but it does dry clear so let's let's play pretending again shall we so let's woo, we'll get some out of there and go, woo, 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 i love right the there. noises you make when you're pretending no you've got to woo 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 you really do it's it, it's a waste without <laughs> now here's what happens look at that so that's putting the crystal glaze over the top of the inked surface and you get that lovely sheen you get the dimension because Gorgeous. of the card you're going through but it's simplicity itself. That's one more way of using it. Do you, can I just do... ask, just got my crafting head on, do you need to wait for your ink blending to dry before you can apply the glaze over the top? Surprisingly not. But, I mean, if you want to take out your heat tool, 20 seconds, boom, yeah. it's, it's good to go. Yeah, lovely. So there you go. Thank you now, very much. There's another one. Now, this, this one, obviously, I inked a piece of cardstock, then I cut it. So we go from, from pink to white. And the Valentine's, that's, that's another little uh, set of ours, which I'm going to show you in a second. How about some rose gold opulent cardstock just on the front? Sometimes, you know, that's all it takes. Simple, you know what, that's so simple, beautiful. but so effective. I, well, I like to think so, but thank you for, thank you for saying that, Lou. I, I really, how about that one? Mother's Day, again, white on white. Oh, Didn't my favourite. simpler than that. There you go. We've got Mother's Day. Now, you look, you're seeing all these lovely... Um, there you go, Father's Day. Why not bring out some luster wax? And you know, you, you can attach this to card, you can die cut it. So you get kind of a faux embossed effect by applying your luster wax. Stunning. Again, we've got that phrase there. Let's look at a few other ways. Now you could put, you could die cut it from white, put it on an ink background. You could use, oh, this is, do you remember expand paste, Lou? Do you remember when yes. we did that a while back? This, <laughs> this is cool stuff. I'm, I'm actually going to do this. Let's do this. Oh, there's an ink one with black in the background. So we're really rushing through these Beautiful. now because there's so much fun to be had. Now, this stuff is marvelous. It's called expand paste. And here it is. This is me holding it up. I'm multitasking, ladies. That's right. I'm multitasking. You're very um, good at it. <laughs> I'm applying the heat, but you can see that it starts to puff up. And when this is wet, it goes absolutely crazy. Um, when it's dry, you get this kind of effect, but you really get a sense of gorgeous dimension. Now, with this expand paste, you can blend it with acidic acrylics. So that allows you to apply it like a paste, but in different colors. So nice. we only do it in the one color, which is the white. But when you, when you blend it with acrylics, you're getting this thing going out. I'll just do half of that. But it's almost like a velvet effect. I, can you see That's the amazing. dimension in that? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Such a different effect. It's yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's another. It's just another thing to do. And do you see what I mean about? I mean, I know you do, Lou. But what I mean about the versatility of a die like this, the amount of things you can do, oh, is absolutely. quite quite staggering. Oh, and I just wanted to introduce this uh, die set it's called all occasions and it's got happy valentine's day now you can use the happy for other phrases you can use the day for other phrases there's merry christmas it's something for everybody all year round those are the size of the dies it's oh, got good that size they are a good size aren't they and it, it's got that classic um script font so there's there's the father's day one just again i think that's the kind of size you're getting it's a lovely set it really i is. think that's that the... would mix really well with that alphabet set that you showed us a minute ago sort of the, the two there. absolutely i love contrast with alphabets yeah. you're quite right so you could put fathers and then you could put day underneath yeah. in that lovely chunky alphabet i, I do love a formal sans serif with a script font absolutely like that. great combination yes really really is um, so many people commenting, Pete. It's um, it's gone crazy. I haven't even had chance to go and read any of the comments because they are scrolling through so so quickly. Um, but by all means, if if you need a breather, just say and I'll go and recap offers. But if you're happy to carry on showing us, yeah, everything. sure. Well, I tell you what, if you just for two minutes recap those crazy offers, and I will have a reset because I've got so much stuff under the desk. <laughs> I so will. I, I, 
We'll give you a minute, definitely. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll just see Pete disappear and you won't see him again. Um, so let me just go through some of these comments. I apologise, I've not commented and replied to you all, but there are so many of you on at the moment and I just need to um, get through some of these. I'm looking for questions, but at the minute, I think I think Pete has answered all of your questions. So uh, commenting right now, we've got Terry Kelly. Hello to you. Um, a beautiful bunch of cards you've shown us, Pete. Uh, and he's barely getting started, if I know Pete. Benita, hello to you. Says this is also interesting. Nikki Shaw, Jenny Orchard, uh, Maureen York, Michaela Hearn, Debbie Main. So many of you watch week after week, week after week after week. I need to put my teeth back in this morning. Um, thank you for joining us again. I'm seeing some new names this week as well. So welcome to you. Um, <laughs> Susan says it's tidy time for Pete. I think it probably is. He's, he's saying he's getting ready. He's having a clear up and probably a sip of a cuppa. Um, let me just pop over as well, if I can, to YouTube, because of course we have got YouTube as well. Hello to uh, Laura Mercott on there. Fab demos as always and so inspiring hello to elizabeth van rena hurst um fiona's there we've got loopy um we've got debbie uh, vignola is that how i'm saying your name i hope so i hope that's correct natalie washbook fairy crafter um hello to all of you this again there's so so many of you on there thank you now let me recap these offers quickly in case you've, you've just joined us we are having a Sizzix takeover today that means we have got a deal of the day on craft stash that is a Sizzix it's a small machine if that's more sort of to your liking we have got the smaller fold away machine on the deal of the day we've got the launch of the brand new switch machine now this is an electronic die cutting machine Pete is showing us all the um, advantages of it and everything that it can do do you know what I think the thing that's amazed me most is that you can use your other big shot plates in it so that just means you you know you if you've got a big shot most of us have got a manual big shot whether it's the small one or the larger one those plates will go through I love that because it just means you can use more of your plates without having to buy brand new ones all the time um, we have also got uh, the bundle. So Pete was talking about some dyes there. He was showing us that beautiful botanicals panel, the alphabets as well. And I'm sure he's getting some more ready for us. Now we have bundled together the products or five of the products that uh, Pete is going to be using into one bundle for $59.99 for you. That means you haven't got to go and shop individually for everything if you love it as much as Pete does. That also means in that bundle you're saving £12 and you can recreate what Pete has made. Now we've also got other things online as well. Let me just switch this for you because we have got surfaces. Now Sizzix surfaces are things like your amazing, I think it's the leather effect paper, your opulent ranges of card stocks as well. So you saw the gold embossing that Pete showed us in three different types. So you've got like the pearly one, you've got the brushed one as well, all of those. Uh, they're part of the opulent range. You've got those card stocks. There's all sorts on Craft Stash at the moment under the Sizzix surfaces. Now, a selection of these, and it's quite a large selection, are on three for two today. You just need to pop in the code at checkout for those three, four, two. Okay. And if you have just joined us, we are giving away in. Oh, we've only got about 20 minutes or so. We're going to be giving away a Sizzix Switch machine, the brand new member of the Sizzix Big Shot family. Um, you're going to absolutely love it. It's an electronic machine. It's got the reverse button. I'm not going to go through all this. This is what Pete's for. He does it so much better than I do, but there's so much to it. And just a reminder as well, as we have got Valentine's Day coming up, We've got our bargain of the week now, only $16.99 for the heart-shaped box. Now, of course, that would cut perfectly through your new Sizzix machine. So um, why not pop that into your basket because you're saving £12 on it. Now, the bargain of the week usually goes within 24 hours or so because it's low numbers. Effectively, that deal should run for a week, but very rarely do we find the stocks last for a week. So grab yours while you can. Um, Mr. Hughes, are you ready for us? Hey, he is ready for Very us, much. of course. Thank you ever so much. I'm going to pass back over to you now. Okay, let's have a look now. We'll do a quick recap. We'll talk about the uh, the, the machine, uh, but this time we're going to be looking at this wonderful dice set. This is called Quirky Animals, mm. and of course it ties into that lovely woodland trend. This is something these animals would work beautifully, you know, in an autumnal scene, a spring scene, they would work in a winter scene. Maybe the bear could be a polar bear. Who knows? It could be an Arctic fox, an Arctic hare. 
course. There we are. Now, um, I'm going to I'm going to show you I'm going to show you a lovely little make with this. But just to show you some of the dyes here, it's all really thought out through. Each die has all its parts, even the flowers themselves. I think I think I would like this just for those lovely, quirky, contemporary flowers. But let's do some cutting. And I'm going to bring in this brand new machine. This is now if you've just joined us. This is the Sizzix switch. That is the switch there. Mm -hmm. So we depress it, open the drawer, lovely soft touch. As Lou quite rightly said, you can use your plates. You can use your large plates, which come with the machine and your large platform, which has all the instructions attached so you never lose them. Or if you are a Sizzix user, if you prefer the experience of the smaller six inch machine, then you can use your Sizzix platform and plates through that. And indeed, anything else you have, you might have a magnetic platform, you might have a precision base plate, you might have, there's so many different things. So can with the, the sorry, I'm going to interrupt you because That's I did okay. see a comment earlier. Can the precision base plate go through this machine? Yes, it can. Yes. There we so precision go. base plate, Anything that's been made for the big shot, basically, any any of those things Perfect. can be used on, and they can be used on your large platform. You don't have to switch to a Sizzix platform for that. No. So all of those things will Fabulous. work Thank through you. the machine. So let's let's place this down. What I'm going to do is, you'll see that I've inked a piece of card. I think I used pumice stone and a little broken china with that. Um, I've inked it and sprayed it. I'm going to cut that with a circle. This one I've inked with various colors of distress, and I'm gonna place the hearts, which come with our quirky animal set. I'm gonna put that one on there. And then finally, I'm gonna take my fox and my bunny rabbit. So we're gonna put those through. One of the reasons people do like the larger format machine is that they can cut a lot of dice oh, in one pass as well. So, so there we have it. Now, there we are, the machine is on. I'll just square up my plates. There we are. Pop that in the mouth of the machine. And there's a lovely little door at the back which opens ah, to allow them to come through. Lovely. And it's, it remains closed the rest of the time. It's while, just got a hinge on it. So. While you're lifting that up, we've had a few questions. People asking how heavy is the machine? Um, oh, good. That, you know, I it, should know this. I was going to say, it's probably I, a I tough say, one unless you've weighed it. <laughs> I would say it's not dissimilar to your Big Shot. Your um, A4. So if you know a Big Shot, it's about the same as the standard A4 Big Shot. There the we weight go. pretty much is in the motor and the uh, the, the rollers and everything because they're quality steel components. Of course. So, yeah, it's about the same weight, but it's very easy. You've got these handles on, on the base, so it's very easy to move about. Because of its lovely shape, it's easy to store as well, and it's going to look fantastic fantastic in your craft room it, it does have that lovely look and feel about it now there you go there's um there's a panel of card which i've inked up ready to go i'm going to spritz that with some clean water so we're going to put that to one side now i've just do you know what i've just realized to my horror that i've forgotten my kitchen paper oh luckily do you know what i think what it is james on the camera He's an absolute godsend. He really is. He thinks it all through. He brought this down earlier. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Ladies. Well, I do recall a show we did together a few months ago where I know you were running around the building because you'd forgotten your distress inks. Yeah, that, so that this... was me. And do you know what? I, I, rem I was surprised how fit I was because I ran the length of the building and back and I wasn't that much out of breath. Maybe no. it was panic that kept me going. To I'm, be honest, I'm not quite sure. if I didn't keep telling people, then nobody would know. <laughs> Yeah, I just, you know, I've forgotten about that, but yeah, I do. But that's a lesson learned. You know, don't forget. You're distressed. And I bet you and haven't done since now. No, no. Well, I've forgotten other things in the meantime, but that's a story for another day. But let's take a look at our die cuts now. There, that one, that, that lovely one. That's my moon. Gorgeous. Okay, oh, it does look like gorgeous. a moon. Gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't it? And just a, just a couple of colours, a bit of paint splatter, and um, water splatter rather, and it just comes out perfect every single time. I'll put those to one side. Lovely. I've got my lovely rabbit and my fox pre-cut and ready to go. Now, um, yeah, but I think, I think, joking aside, I think everybody needs a James. We all need a James. You know what? We've got storage, we've got machines, we've got... Why can't we just go to the store and get a James, you know, for the, for those moments when everything's going wrong and you think, oh, no, and he's already thought of it for you. 
<laughs> I need a James. <laughs> yeah, we all need a James. Can I have one here? Um, Lynn Stubbington said, uh, doesn't it look like the kind of machine you could stroke? Very sleek. It oh, does. Do you, know, do you know what, Lynn? You're absolutely right. And um, I was using it recently um, uh, on, on TV. And I, I wish I'd worn a long sleeve shirt because you just want to... You know, go I think, across the, the slightest little blemish. It's like, oh no! Yeah, oh. I think I'd be polishing those silver, those chrome-looking bits at the ends there. Oh, they're good. And do you know what? Do you know what I like? I, I love all. I, I'm a, I'm a sucker for like 1950s Americana. You know those lovely yeah. roadster cars and stuff like yes. that. And it gives me a kind of a. It's <laughs> modern, but it, it's also got classic styling. Absolutely. Sort of almost classic throwback, but. But it works. It really does. Now, there's my fox. I've actually inked him with aged mahogany, Beautiful. tea dye, and rusty hinge for those of you who love your distressings and want to know what's going on. I'm also nice going to people. take my bunny rabbit, and we're going to start with a little pumice stone. I do love pumice stone. I really do. Um, Pete, I'm, I'm, sure. I need to check this on the Craft Stash website. Christine has asked, Christine Brush English has asked, is the Switch for the USA coming out at the same time as the UK version? Yes, yes. I th well, actually, I think it came out slightly earlier because of obviously supply chain yeah. issues. So it did come out slightly earlier. Um, but the global, I think it came out in Australia a little earlier as well. But but by and large, we're all pretty much on the same page in that sense. Um, I, now, I'm a, I'm a designer, Lou. I'm not a salesman, but this sounds like a sales pitch. It really isn't. But if you are thinking about getting a switch, uh, there's no better time than now because I know that we're not having stock issues. We, we've just been overwhelmed by the response. And um, yeah. so I don't. We've we've got another a load on water, but uh, once these once the ones that we have are gone, it's it's going to be a while before we can restock. So, so if you do, don't 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 end up disappointed, um, you know. Uh, but that's not a sales pitch. That's that's just the truth. Uh, no, no, that's right. I mean, we have got them at Craft Stash. We're actually at the moment now doing pre-order um, because our stock is coming in on the seventh or. or going to start going out on the 7th when's that monday so you haven't got long to wait but it will be an amount and when that amount has gone we will have to wait again for stock to come in second time so um if you can stretch to it now like i say we have got clear pay so you can spread those payments over four payments um take advantage of it while it's in stock because you know how popular big shots are absolutely yeah it's it's um well i'd I know, I know what a great machine it is, but it really, I, I will say, it has taken us by surprise. It really has the, uh, you know, it, it shouldn't, but that's that's the thing. And that's what I love about working in the craft industry. It constantly surprises you, you yes. know, it, it really does. Um, and the, the thing, the assumptions that you make, certain things happen and you think, what a fool, what a fool. I've been doing this 20 years and I made a schoolboy error there. So, but hey, that's me. Well, um, you learn. You've learned. That's you it. do well. You don't sometimes, but yeah, we try. We try. We try. It's not through want of trying. Shall we say? <laughs> yeah. Now let's take that lovely background there. I'll just apply my heat tool to that because what I want to do, I want to stick it onto my card here, and I've put a bit of double-sided tape. I They're love your cards, go. Pete. They're just so. Let's sort of think. They were classy, elegant, oh, and but. And yet achievable. Well, that's the thing, and you know, it's funny when when I do when I do a workshop, I like to go with with a project that because with a workshop you might have advanced makers, you might have absolute beginners, and I want something that can give people a sense of achievement, whether they're a beginner or they consider themselves yeah. intermediate or advanced. But I want it to look really cool. But then I want to show people just how simple it is. Uh, that is the key. I, I don't want to bamboozle people with crazy, sh silly techniques that take years to learn. There's no value in that. I want people to have a good time, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, I can't believe how this card's coming together so beautifully. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? It's, it's there we are. There's, there's that bunny rabbit. And there's the fox. So let's, let's just hold that up to show you oh, where we're look at to that. now. Isn't it cute? That is adorable. Gonna... I uh, know it's so. Uh, 
I, I, it's one of those that I kind of smiled when I was making this. I really did. So let's let's take some of our little hearts here, and uh, because we'll pop one there. So I'm just going to put put a few of them. You can use them all. You can use a, a few of them. Again, these hearts, the shapes. Kudos to the designer who is our Olivia Rose. She um, she does the cutest little shapes. Um, I know it's silly. I know it's only a heart. We've probably got millions of hearts between us, but oh my oh, goodness. I, I don't know. I think I feel you need a heart in every different shape, style, size. It just Very use them so. all the time. Well, that's why I love that big size that we've shown before. It's called Heartfelt. It's mm. by Tim Tim Holtz, rather unsurprisingly. And there are eleven different hearts on there, various sizes, shapes, and what have you. So there we are. That is the finished card from start to finish didn't take long really i Not mean we did pre-ink some stuff but that doesn't take long either now if you want to do something similar maybe we'll this one says to the moon and back as well but a different oh. style an inked background there now maybe maybe you just want to do it in cardstock how about this now that's using some of our neutrals and some of our standard cardstock uh, and it's just about choosing the right tones, the right colors. And you see Valentine's at the bottom there. We've used the all occasion script. Here's one with really sort of muted colors. I, I love, love that. That's, that's really, really classy. I can say that because I didn't make it. So that's the one I haven't made. Now, this one, you know, our squirrel, why not make it into a skunk? Because skunks oh, need Oh, of course. You know? Same shape, isn't it? Yeah, same shape. Uh, just, you know, change the colors. Easy. There you go. Who says bears can't be pink? I love it. I absolutely love it. The, no the colours you use as well, they just always pop. You've yeah, just, well, they are the Sizzix cardstock. So you do, you know, I, I think I love to have little swatches so I can have a look at this, have a look at that. How does that work next to this, that and the other? You know, so it does take a little time to get the right yeah. blends with them. But that's part of the fun of it for me. It really is. Absolutely. Um, it's yeah. about 20 past, Pete. Um, can I just discuss okay. with you? Can we have a little chat? Uh, there's yeah, sure. another launch tomorrow, isn't there? Um, Mr. Holtz, I believe, is Mr. revealing. Mr. Holtz, yes, he's doing his chapter one reveal. That will be that will be on Facebook. So, um, yeah, it, it's funny. I, I actually... Um, I've been working with those guys for such a long time, but I will be sitting down to watch that because Tim gives you such a unique spin on the dice, on the reasons why, on, on how he has pushed the technology forward with 3D embossing and so on and so forth. You know, uh, I, I love to watch the guy. He's such a great communicator and he will make you see things in dice that you've never actually seen before. So I can't show you any of the, but I think we're doing a show, aren't we? We're doing a show with Tim Holtz chapter one coming up at some point. I, th I believe we will be, yes. So yeah. um, we'll have, obviously we'll have the products going live on Craft Stash. Um, so we'll be dropping an email out to everybody at quarter to five and this will not only show you where you can get your hands on the products that Tim is releasing but it's also going to remind you that in 15 minutes Tim's going to be going live so you can see all those lovely products uh, and mm -hmm. doing their thing. Um, You've just got some more things out. Do you have more to show us? Well, I did. You know, I, I don't think we've got time. Are we really for another demo? But I want to tell you, show you another dice set. Maybe we can have a look at a few others. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. We, so I never one. want to hurry you, Pete. I want as much of oh, you as possible. No, I'm, I'm never <laughs> hurried. Don't worry. But no, you can't hurry me. This one's called Layered Spring Flowers. And it comes from a series which Lisa has designed of layered flowers. So. Gorgeous. You know, the other ones in the series, they're designed by the same artists, so they have a similar style, they have a similar scale, so they all work together. Now, let's take a look at how beautiful they really are. And this is using them, but you can see I haven't stuck them down all the way. Right. Sometimes I've curled some yes. elements, and I've got some dimension going on there. So you don't have to put these flat. Now, the oh, one beautiful. that I was, I was hoping to do this as a demo, but you know what? We got caught up with the old switch, and why not? But this lovely panel in the background, this is from the, um, the Art Nouveau embossing folder. So that's part of that. And I've inked these with Distress Oxides. But you see, same flower, but instead of... I didn't actually um, sort of die cut the pieces and then ink them. I inked a background... So, oh, let me let me reach down without that wobbling about too much. This is the background that I inked. Oh, up. lovely! 
And then I die cut all those various pieces from there. And I did the same thing using the greens. So that would be for the stem. So we just choose the areas that we want to cut. It's almost more, it's always more fun to do it that way around. But this lovely background, just, just 3D emboss it using, using the cream card and Wow, it's it's lovely, Stunning. absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that is a lovely set. It really is. That is gorgeous. Thank you so much. You've shown us so much. My mind's just swimming at the moment, and that's without well, that's without the machine as well. Um, now, Pete, I've got a name for someone oh. who's about to win themselves the switch machine. It's so well, exciting. I kind of want to build this up a bit more, but I'm not going to because everyone's watching in suspense. Um, before we do a quick drum roll and announce, Pete, uh, while yep. you're just stroking the machine there, um, do you can you give us any sort of sneak peeks? Obviously, you've already done it, actually. We'll be looking at the Tim Holtz Chapter 1 shortly. We'll have to get a date, yes. a date um, out to everybody for that. So that's really exciting. Um What's yeah. after that? Do you know? Do you know what's coming next after all of that? Well, after what from Tim's chapter launch or yeah, after Tim's uh, chapter one. Yeah, well, obviously with with Tim's stuff, there's so many. That, there's there's the cutesy stuff. There's a new colorized animal because people love collecting those oh. animals. There's some of the most incredible, incredible three D embossing folders. I mean, it really has taken it to the next level. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> there's, there's there's some great uh, phrase guys as well which you, you just you shouldn't miss because they're so versatile in the same way as that that lovely um the botanical background same kind of thing you can right. use them in so many different ways but the classic um it's it's classic tim but it's quite seasonal so spring love things like that Perfect. then chapter two i've seen that already that is so eclectic it is off the charts crazy uh oh, oh. It's, always, it's always a pleasure with tim stuff but yeah watch that watch that and i go i guess you guys have got them all there, yes. Ready to go. Yes. So tomorrow. Like so that's tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow evening. Obviously, uh, you can start pre-ordering and ordering those on Craft Stash. We'll be sending out the email at quarter to five. So keep an eye on your emails for that and get those orders in super quick because I'm sure again very popular. Um, are you capable, Pete? I'm sure you are of doing us a little drum roll so we can announce this can. winner of the switch. And I'm going to do it on top of my switch machine. Hey. Isn't it? You ready? You and ready? The winner is. <laughs> Susan Hardy. Susan Hardy, well done. Congratulations to you. I'm not sure. I think you were watching on Facebook today. Um, thank you for joining us and congratu massive congratulations. The machine will be coming out to you. You just need to message the Craft Stash customer services with your postal address. Obviously, give us a little bit of time to get that in stock and send it your way because it is a big machine. It needs extra special delivery. Um, I, I, sorry, I interrupted you there, Pete. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just going shut up and take a breath that's all uh thank you so much pete it's been absolutely wonderful Thanks. having you here um i've loved all your demonstrations as always i could watch you for hours as i'm sure all our viewers could um we will hopefully see you very soon for the next so. the next installment i think we're back pretty soon aren't we and i think we're back with tim holtz chapter one as well I believe I so. I think so. I think so. Yeah. I, th I think that's a rumour I heard as well. I'm literally working over the next few days at the you moment. Are. But you once I'm working hard. beyond beyond that, then um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll yeah. be c coming together again very soon. But Pete, yeah. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks to everybody for watching. It's always a pleasure to be here on Crep Stash. And it's always a pleasure to have you. So hopefully we'll see you again very soon. So take care of yourself and thank okay, you. Thank is you. it Brandon who's on the phone today? No, it's James. James, oh, it's James. Is on the phone. James is the go-to guy who makes sure I've got everything I need. Ah, I thought you had two Otherwise, people there. Otherwise it just falls apart, you know? <laughs> no, I'm sure you'd, you'd cope. You'd be fine. Uh, but okay. thank you to him as well. We'll Glad see you. you again very soon. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you. You too, Lou. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Just lovely Pete and his fabulous demonstrations. Thank you to everybody who's joined us today. Um,
Of course, that switch machine is available for pre-order, starting to ship out from Monday. So get your orders in quickly because I'm sure this is going to be a very, very fast sellout from this machine. As you've seen from Pete's demonstrations, it's an absolute game changer. You're going to love it. And then we've got the bundle that Pete used as well with 12 pounds off. We've also got the Sizzix Surfaces. They are on the three for two using the code 342. We've got the bargain of the week. We've got the deal of the day. We've got so much going on on Craft Stash. The best way to see the newest deals and offers is A, sign up to our email list so you don't miss out on anything. Uh, keep an eye on our socials. But then B, C, um, make sure you check the website every morning. Put it in as part of your social media catch up routine in the morning with your tea or coffee. Simply go to Craft Stash. If you go to New In or there's uh, Bargains, there's a couple of different tabs for, depending on what you're looking for. If you want New In, go there, you're gonna see everything that's brand new that day. Uh, and of course you can click on things and see more detail. Um, everybody, thank you so much. Well done again to Susan. Make sure you get us that postal address pretty quick um, and we will send that out to you. Now, I am going to be back next Friday with myself for a brand new launch of Textures. That's Paris Romance. Please join me again, 12.30 for that. And uh, otherwise, I just need to say, have a fantastic crafty weekend, everybody. Um, I hope you, I hope the sunshine is shining here. I don't know if anyone noticed. I did have to get up and close the blinds at some point got a bit too bright. I hope it continues for the weekend and I'll see you all again very soon. So take care everybody. Bye bye.